Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. It's all about you. It's great well, you hopefully are. with some nice stuff. <laughs> it's good stuff. Good what are you stuff. talking about? I'm always... Well, I don't know about you sometimes. I'm just going to make sure that there's a little bit of nice stuff somewhere in there. <laughs> All good. All good. Uh, no, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, yeah. Man. Okay. So Don't thanks. scream when you get home. Ah, that's hilarious. I know. <laughs> you know what? I when I tell the when I tell the fam I'm I'm uh, podcasting, it's like they all retreat. Um, they all retreat upstairs, and then and then every now and then one kid will forget and kind of come down the stairs like with the freeze going. <gasps> Oh no! And I'm like, it's all right. It's not that crazy. We're not that crazy. So we're not that professional. So no, so we're not. Gotta light up a little bit. <laughs> good, good. Because this is this is my first, and the only one I have to worry about is the the dog. So as long Yay. as he behaves himself and doesn't find a squirrel outside the window, no, we're you good. Know what? That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Last time we had um, we had Kelly Eisen on from Einstein Pets, and her dog Abby wanted to actually be on the show, right? Kenny, so we, we actually met we met Abby. Abby came on oh, and yeah. with us for Abby was on the show. Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's a family <laughs> show. It is. For the most part. Oh, I love it. I love it. You guys are great. Well, thank oh. you for inviting me. This is exciting. No worries. No worries. Yeah. yeah. So for, for listeners Very out cool. there, we've we've got Kenny on and we've got someone that um I don't know if Laura, you know this or not, but we've I've certainly talked about you on previous shows enough that Kenny was like enough already bring her on the show or stop talking about her so uh, <laughs> not that <or>. well, <laughs> thank you hopefully all good too yeah no so we've got we've got laura dunkley on with us today and i am excited because laura is a uh, another freelance kindred spirit so she's a freelance marketer as well and she does some really new unique work she does her own freelancing and she also does some work with the mississauga business enterprise center um and uh, she so she has a really unique view on um you know small business entrepreneurs and the things they struggle with and so um, I have talked about her a whole bunch and uh, thought it'd be really yes, good to, have. to, yeah. All oh, nice. <laughs> to, to, yeah, oh, to get her on the, the time you're on the show and just uh, <laughs> Thank talk you. to her and, and get everyone else to hear her voice. So, yeah, welcome to the show. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Excited to be here. Yeah, we're excited. Do you do you want to tell do you want to tell um, the users and or the listeners and 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 Kenny probably a little bit about yourself? Sure. Well, I have uh, been an entrepreneur since my late teens. So this is, uh, it's in my blood. I, I, my background is retail and it started with a passion for mountain biking, which turned into a full-fledged business of outdoor wear and gear and mountain bike trail riding and all that exciting stuff. So I sold that after about 20 years, my partner and I sold it. And then what do you do, right? When you have had your dream job in your 20s, uh, what's the next step? So I went and worked for a startup, totally different industry. And that was in security and emergency management software, dealing with not just, uh, you know, fun and hanging out on the trails with corporate security officers. And it was a very different world, but interesting learning experience. After that, after a couple of years, I went back and took my PR diploma and Discovered that communications, right? That was the essential thing that I thought, what am I going to do and what do I love to do? And it's communicate. And that's fundamental for every industry across the board um, for their success. So I went and did that and been a communications consultant for the past five, six years until the opportunity came through at the Mississauga Business Enterprise Center, which is part of the Economic Development Office in the city of Mississauga. And it was for digital marketing to help entrepreneurs transform their um, business um, with, by teaching them digital literacy and helping them go into that next level. It's like, oh, my goodness, this is so exciting. So this is my first real job. And it's funny, you know, at my age, uh, I won't tell you exactly, but, you know, on the other side of 40, having a first real job and it's a, a government job, it's 
been interesting. A whole learning experience. <laughs> I'll tell you, though, the reason it is and why I love it so much is because I get to work hand in hand with the entrepreneurs and, and see the transformation that they go through and, uh, and how much of a difference it makes for them in their business and, and love it. I love it. So that is my story in a nutshell. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You're way too smart for us. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no are guess, you Phil, kidding? I'll find somebody who's below <laughs> us, not way above us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I like who I like, you know. I tell uh, you, you guys are so inspiring, though, listening. I love listening to your <laughs> podcast. So this is oh, great to be here. And so the cool. opportunity to talk digital and just talk marketing and, and talk about entrepreneurship. Are you kidding? It's, it's so exciting. It's great awesome. to be here. Man. Yeah. Um, I have, so, I have some questions. So I didn't realize that the startup was this, what is it? It's security and. Mm, an emergency what management software. Okay. Yeah. What does that mean exactly? Like, is that like the like security alarm systems or is that something different? No. Or, okay. No, so that was a big, and my role was sales and marketing to okay. help her um, okay. get started. And it was everything but physical security. So mm. we brought in, um, and she's still in stream very well, uh, deals with um, incident management software. So she's a value-added reseller here okay. in Canada and has clients all over. Okay. And uh, deal with critical infrastructure, which would be um, hydro companies, oh, um, cool. anything okay. that uh, – go transit type of um, uh, people that uh, large companies that uh, deal with incidents and rather than having note paper and we took it from paper and went um, to technology. And this was quite a few years ago and she's um, she's brilliant, brilliant. um, And so much I learned about technology and information security and communicating um, across, you know, interoperability between different units. So we dealt with security, but we also dealt with emergency managers um, within regions and within um, fire and police and and how that all works and met some amazing people and thank goodness for them to keep us all safe. Um, It's, it was pretty cool. Laura Dunkley, that's, uh, that's kind of crazy. So you go from owning a bike shop um, (laughs) to doing security and then doing PR, right? And then then now, so, so now, because I've been telling these guys about this, but the, the, some of the stuff you do, like, so you, you kind of deal with entrepreneurs that are like just starting out, literally know nothing all the way into expansions and, um, you know, people are trying to do really crazy things with their lives, right? It, it's quite a range and mostly startups uh, okay. that, that we do work with. I do get some expansions and, uh, and love dealing with them. But usually by the time they're um, at that level, and that's where I will say, you know, you know the basics. Here are the things that I can, um, you know, help you with and guide you. But now it's time to hire a digital marketer um, and go beyond that. So it's uh, and one call I had today was just that he's expanding all over Canada and and, and beyond our borders and uh, wants multiple locations, different things. And this is where this is where it's like, okay, you know what? You need a strategy. This is beyond what I'm technically allowed to do right here in my role and these are the things to look for when you go to hire a digital marketer and that's those that's when I go oh my goodness this is wonderful now be free but when you have questions (laughs) come back and talk to me yeah um the other ones that that really need the help are the ones coming out of a corporate job or you know they have this hobby they want to start and they want to potentially um, grow it. Where do we start? I don't have any knowledge of digital other than you know maybe a bit on Facebook. Um, to some that have some knowledge, and this is the other side of it, we get the uh, technology people as yeah. far as and the art. So they'll have video or or they'll be a graphic designer, but they don't understand the business side. And since my background is business. And strategic communications, yeah. I can help them piece it all together. So there what's, is um, what's the, range. where do you start? So where do you start with guys? Like so, um, I've kind of seen you work. I, I think I'm leading a little bit, but uh, you know, like when you've got these kind of new entrepreneurs, let's say that you know they've got an idea, they're starting to build, um, and they kind of show up and uh, and you know, look, I, I've got to. Everyone says I got to do socials. Everyone says I got to like be on Facebook or whatever. 
What, um, where do you start with these guys, Laura? Yeah, well, and I spent many years before coming here, and this is what has to happen. It's like, no, I want a Facebook page. No, yeah. I need Instagram. I was yeah. at a seminar, and my buddy or who my neighbor <laughs> Yeah. Told me I need a Facebook page, so I have to do it. It's like, whoa, let's stop right back there. And this is where I am um, developing the seminars, Phil, that you've um, been so great helping me out with. Um, I take them through this seven-step process, and the first step is to have a business plan. And that doesn't mean a huge plan. I mean, it's ideal if you can have a plan. Um, but you have to have like a one pager. You have to know where you're going. You have to know who you are, what your product service is, that type of um, structure before you can start into the digital world. So that's, that is where I start. Um, and then from there, we talk about, okay, so your target audiences. And that is usually part of a business plan, but we mm-hmm. really go into audience. And this, you know, the seven steps that are, um, the third is goals. And then you want to make sure you have the right channels um, for communicating. Because what happens is, is your business is not going to be the same as the next business. So how do we evaluate these channels to see if it's right for you? And then we have, you know, of course you have to have great content and then we take them through how to track performance. And that, that's the step. That's the process that we go. And I will be the first to say, and I did the email marketing one last night. And it's like, okay, you, I'm going to tell you things tonight and you're going to learn all about email marketing. But at the end of the day, you have to take what I'm teaching you and go through these seven steps to see what applies to you, whether this is even right for you at this time. Um, And this is really what I'm trying to teach them is to take all this information and then distill it down so that they can be digital marketers themselves and how to apply it to their, to their business for their time. I think, I think all of the people that um, didn't listen to you uh, showed up at Kenny's door in the last six months or so. <laughs> so oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> how does, it, how, how does uh, do, do they come in? Do, is there a fee that they pay or how does this work? No, the city of Mississauga is so um, excited to support entrepreneurs that they have created this division within their economic development office that is this drop-in um, business enterprise center. And they're all over Ontario. There's different enterprise centers that different municipalities have done. So one of the city of Mississauga has one in, in the library. Anyone can drop in nine to five and ask questions. Seriously. They can, yeah, it's free to them um, because the city of, through the city of Mississauga um, and has this facility. And they can also, if they want to register their business, they have support. They can get a one-on-one consultation with our business consultants. They can, you know, and again, it depends what stage they're at because they have to have at least thought through their business plan and have a solid idea. But you're and helping them do have, that as well, aren't you? Well, so it starts, and this is where we kind of tag team. Sue is our business consultant, and she she kind of she gets it first to make sure it's you know they've thought through, and then I have the digital marketing con- con- consultations that I take, and we often will sit together and and work through it with people because we'll go back and forth between business goals oh, and, and the digital marketing, and that's all free to people. Now it's, you know, there's just one of each of us for the city of Mississauga. So there is a bit of a, a wait sometimes. But, but yeah, the, the other thing, is that, yeah. Right? yeah. And they handle really like yeah. not, not simple questions, right? Like, right, Laura, yeah. sometimes you guys bring in lawyers, they bring in accountants. Well, what's a simple question from an entrepreneur yeah. just starting up? They don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> but no. they have a resource like that that's yeah, within a municipality yeah, yeah. and yeah. covered? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty Well, and, and we try and you know, before they do the consultation, we have all these seminars as well that are either free or low cost. My digital marketing ones were free this year. Um, next wow. year, we're going to be doing um, some workshops and boot camps, of which I will be talking to Phil about. Um, and then, yeah, I'm so excited that this is the next level. So we've really thought through the journey. So we have that these so um, cool. seminars that'll do like a one pager getting started with your business plan to let's develop your business plan to now, oh my goodness, now it's time to do your digital transformation. Let's learn about what that means. And we can help them through end to end and we try and follow up with them. And then the other thing, and then we do bring lawyers in, we do bring accountants in and other subject matter experts when we can. 
we're limited. Again, we're, you know, we only have so much funding. We also do the grant programs where we um, have municipal, not municipal, it's provincial funding. We, you know, we always have to wait to see what that's going to look like every year. Um, but then we facilitate the programs to give them mentorship and training. And the mentorship and training is free. Not everyone gets awesome. the grant, but I know. That and is it, like it really, really cool. yeah, yeah. I didn't even, I wish I had something like this when I started my business. Yeah, <laughs> no joke. I don't know if we have anything. I mean, yeah. I need you in BC. I have no idea if we even have this in the city. Mm. Well, yeah. We, we have them all over, them. right? Like, like you yeah, are part yeah. of like every, so if you're in Ontario and you're listening to us, um, there are business enterprise centers. So like in, in Mississauga, it's called the MBAC. Uh, if you were in Scarborough, it's the SBAC. If you're in Brampton, it's the BBAC. You know, like it's, yeah. you know, yeah. if you search for them, they're really amazing. I mean, it's just. Well, we are searching right now. Yeah. <laughs> so already, look, uh, I want to see if we have them here. <laughs> well, it's called the One Network. Ontario Network oh, okay. um, of Entrepreneurship, okay. I think okay. is the acronym, but it is the One Network. Okay. And it, they are all over Toronto, has uh, a great support system too. Um, and then they have outshoots of different things called like the uh, Digital Main Street. That's a whole other program. You'll have to bring me back on later to talk about that on another show maybe. Digital mainstream. Um, yeah, that's a whole other conversation. Dunkley. Yeah, yeah, I know Sounds I dropped like we it, talk right? about that all night. <laughs> Go nope, dropping that and running away. It's, it's just oh a tease, God. but I will be talking to you about that. <laughs> I'm so, this and is those, so cool. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, cool. It's pretty I think cool. it's just Ontario. Finally, Kenny, yeah. we have something cooler than Vancouver. Oh, you guys always Well, maybe have you cool should stuff. start something, Kenny. There you go. Oh, maybe BC oh, needs something Kenny. like this. Oh, be the entrepreneur in me, right? Kenny doesn't have the focus. Kenny <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have okay, the focus. Okay, so you are Kenny an entrepreneur. Need the help. Are you kidding? I need to sign up. <laughs> no, really, it's it's really awesome. Like I love, I you know, I love, like, I love this, right? Like fabulous. I love, I love, you know, like having the accountant. I I was in like peppering the accountant with questions, right? Because you're just like, you know, it's it's what we talk about on this show all the time. Is you don't have enough time to do everything, right? Plus, what do you know? Yeah. I don't even know what I know. No, for. I don't you, know you don't, don't, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Crazy. and you don't. Well, and this is where we try and um, we do try and do some networking opportunities too. And again, we have so many ideas and so, not enough people and As time usual. to do it. As usual. But we, it, you just you do what you can, and then you try and get you know bump people into, which is what we try and do, right? Uh, we mm -hmm. did fill it at yeah. our um, the digital marketing seminar. It's like, okay, yeah. so who are writers and who are designers yeah. and who's an entrepreneur? We can't refer people, but we can give them an opportunity to I was bump like speed into dating. each other. We right? literally went, oh, my oh, word. there's a writer in the, mid, in the middle of the room. I know. Right? Everyone's <laughs> taking their card and like. <laughs> but, if you, but you can, oh, you, I know. you guys both know, tap into, tap into some people who are, you know, probably yeah. at that age because, okay, I know. You know, I got two plus four is on plus 50, but you tap into an older, you know, group that might have a little more time and, and is willing to start giving back. And I, mm -hmm. you know, it's a, it's just a cool way to, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's yeah. just a cool way to help people out. Yeah. 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 And there, and there's a lot of uh, wow. um, entrepreneurship centers too, beyond just ours. And one is Sheridan college has something called the edge. And we, Diego, right, uh, Phil, he yeah. came and spoke at mm -hmm. our content marketing. He does the digital team. marketing yeah. and, and a good support group to start entrepreneurs um, up as well, of their, like co-working space. And they give them support as well. And they're part of wow. one of our partners yeah. um, through the Sheridan College. So, and, so it's an incubator, and space, right? So what it, what it does is yeah. you basically go there. They have uh, people who, can, uh, who are skilled, who can help you. And then it, you can apply to hang out at Sheridan basically and work there. And then they basically mm -hmm. coach you along and, and guide you. It's, it's amazing for new businesses like it's such a, it's another thing, right? Like you look at the, the Mississauga business group and what they're doing. And then this partnership with Sheridan makes it, uh, it's just, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And there's wow. some, you know, the other cool thing for entrepreneurs now too, and it's always hard for freelancers, right? We're in the office, you know, at home in an office, there's kids running around and it's affordable, but it's, it's hard because you feel very alone most of the time. I know I did in my home office for a lot. I'm not I alone. Have, I have Kenny. Yeah. I you have so. Kenny. Yeah. And I, I have you. I know. And, and yeah. then here, but you're not around 
you know, it, it's great. But, you know, for our entrepreneurs yes. who are just starting and they want to be around, we have so many co-working space, spaces in yep. Mississauga that are popping up. And they're affordable and they're really cool. And they all have different cultures. Yep. We were just at one um, yesterday. There's a multiple. There's so many different ones. Um, and it has, it feels like home. Yeah, they have right. bookshelves and they have. That's cool. Couches, but it's still professional. Yeah. And what they do in this culture is they do, they do encourage co-working. So you'll have a video person, you'll have someone who's familiar with e-commerce, yeah. and then someone else, and they all start supporting each other. And it's an yeah, amazing, amazing thing to help grow our entrepreneurs. That's amazing. For sure. yeah. I think it's fabulous. I mean, the shared workspace we have, but I think this this idea here where you can go in and get some. You don't, it doesn't have to be long free advice, but it's just enough to point you in the right direction, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, and yeah. this is where it is too, um, as far as digital. We get people coming in and, hey, can you just look at my website, you know, and, and check out my Facebook page? And that's usually what a consultation is. I do a quick audit and then go, okay, you're missing this and you're missing this and you're missing this. And try that's this huge, and though. go out and let me know what you think afterwards. We wow. don't get into actually doing it for them. We no. really do just kind of help them um, point them in the right direction. And, you know, if they have a Google, Google analytics report, okay, I'll go over it with you, bring it in. And so that is some things that wow. we, we do. And if people are starting to expand and they're thinking of importing and exporting government regulations, Sue takes care of all that. Thank goodness. Cause it's more, you know, business yeah. end of it. Um, but we do that too. That's all part of it. Wow. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Right. That is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Mm, I know. Yeah. Pretty cool. And I get to be there. Yes. But as long as I can focus on digital, I'm good. <laughs> or marketing. So, uh, and let someone else do the other stuff. What's, wow. um, okay. what's, the, what's the most exciting thing you're, you're looking at in digital right now? What's trending? Like, especially for entrepreneurs. If you have that kind of entrepreneur lens on, is it just, um, like, is there anything you're seeing now that, that is super interesting for, for um, you know, all these new guys that are coming out? You know, it's, and it's funny, just recently, I'm overwhelmed by all the information and stuff that's coming out. It's exciting because there's so many opportunities for people, but the fact is that there's so much. And how do you stay focused and know how to get through the weeds <laughs> to figure out what you need to do, right? The big data and machine learning and all these things now that you can do for advertising, sequential ads. And you can go in and now if you, if this person does this, then you can send them this video and then you can do this. It's like, oh my word, that's, that's so overwhelming when most of my entrepreneurs are going, how do I set up a Facebook event? Right. Just like it's, uh, yeah. it's, yeah. it's going at a speed that is incredible. And, uh, which is why we were saying, you know, digital marketers and, these people have really come in. It's a time because you need strategic help. It's not just, hey, set up my Facebook page. It's you need to think end to end. You need to know your customer intimately, like really know who inside their head. Um, and then and then you have to continue to learn. It's not about putting it just down on paper. You have to continue to learn. Um, you can't just Google and find benchmarks for, you know, it's fine if you're just starting, but you have to take that time to learn. And how do entrepreneurs take that time when they don't, the skills aren't even there, let alone the time, as you guys all know, how much time it takes to just stay up with this stuff. And we speak yeah. the language. Yeah, yeah. That's and true. so that, that scares me a little bit for our entrepreneurs, but I am excited to know that there's best practices for digital marketing and there's digital marketing people out there, you know, that are really good to help them. But really, they need to, the trend is they have to to know sales, they have to know marketing, they have to know their business, they have to at least understand a high level, because if not, they're, um, they're going to get left behind and their competition is going to go forward. But it's exciting, right? At the end of the day, when they figure if it's right for them, then they can focus on it. It's like There's so many cool things, like video, there's cool... Um, programs that are out there that are low cost now for doing yeah. things. Do you remember yeah. the days when explainer videos used to oh be 5000 to $10,000? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Now it's so you cheap. had to hire a so you just go and you do it no, and it's a drag them. and drop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah completely. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty cool on the trend. Yeah. And I, I talk try and talk about those different tools that are out there to get people to just go in and you know, it's it's very low cost to just go and play around with. I love it. I love it. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Man. Yeah. And, and you know, the other thing is too, and I think it gets lost and I spent most of my time being a content marketer and, and writing eBooks and white papers and graphics and infographics and things like that, like big um, pieces and then breaking it out and, you know, using them for ads and using them for things, but it takes a long time. Um, and then people now are going, Oh no, I have to add advertise. I have to advertise. It's like, well, you do have to advertise as a supplement, but they forget that the, the organic, the stuff that you invest in, that's the foundation. Yeah. That's the stuff that, yeah. it, but it's, it's the long haul. You have the marathon, not a sprint, um, but the value that that will add for SEO for your, your customer um, information to walk them through the funnel. Um, it's something they can't forget. And it's a, it's a trend that continues. It's really funny because um, this week, one of the things I've been, uh, I've just been working on with a lot of people is it's super simple. Like, you know, in digital. So Kenny, you know, you get into a lot of like pricing fundamentals and you worry about like, guys, are you pricing right? Are you pricing right? And then on the digital side, the equivalent of costing and pricing right is getting your keywords um, yeah. right. And like people just don't do it right. So I, I probably had three of the brands I've worked on. You know, my first question this week was, hey, listen, like, can you send me what your latest keyword list is? And they're all like, I don't really, I don't have one. I guess I make it up as I go. And I, you know, Laura, and like, like so when you say yeah. get your basics right, it makes me crazy, right? Because, you know, so for the audience listening, keywords is, you know, what are the words or the adjectives that describe your business that allow someone who goes online, who goes to Google and says, I want to buy whatever, right? And so mm -hmm. like the keywords that you have that describe your business should be things that pop up you know, and if, if you've done it right, you kind of put it in all your, your descriptions and things like that, when they search, you should pop up. Like that's actually the basics of, of SEO, right? Is like, this is how mm -hmm. you rank in Google and this is how Google knows you're a legitimate business. But I just like, it's, uh, it's one of those things like nobody seems to do it, right? Like to your point, um, the basics are just not there. Remember though, everybody's just trying to get to the door and lock the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, they're trying to well, open in the morning and close. Yeah. And they, oh, you know, my God, like that's a lot of stuff going on. Eh? Yeah. But I think, I think you chase so many things. You, you don't know if you're trying to lock the door and get out or you're trying to lock the door and stay in or. Well, and people, people are, are looking for the latest and the greatest thing, right? So they're always going for that, that new thing. And, and that's just entrepreneurs in general. Yeah. Right. I don't, it's what? beyond no. just digital no, marketing. No. It's like, Oh no, I have to sell that product. Oh, I have to do this. My competition is doing this and this. It's like, okay, let's step back and figure out who are we? You know, and I'll tell you when I was, when we had our mountain bike shop and which turned every time we, it went from just mountain bikes. Every time we thought of a new product line to bring in, I had a mission statement and it, and I should have it memorized. There was so many years, um, but everything we did had to serve, the mountain biker it had to serve their experience their development it was always a mountain biker so when i went into we decided to bring in road bikes it was from the mountain biker to train off season because we couldn't be on the trail okay so that made sense if we brought in um certain type of clothing okay so that made sense if we brought in we brought in trail running shoes well because part of the with mountain bike or cycling low bone density we had to get some impacts so it's like okay well we love trails we're all going to go trail running so this was part of it always came back to serve the purpose of our mountain bikers and this is where you have to make some type of statement as an entrepreneur who are you and what is your mission and this mission vision values is important fundamentally even 
once we get into the marketing and the sales and marketing has to be all part of everything. Our entrepreneurs have to be salespeople. They have to be marketing people. They have to be product development, whatever it is. And they have to think the whole cycle. And this is where I'm finding too with the trends, right? You have to have a CRM. You have to have a customer relationship management system oh to That's be able to me. funnel. I know it's yeah. really crazy, but it can yeah. be a spreadsheet. Yeah. It's just that, yeah. you know, who, what is that, um, lifetime value of that customer because when you're going to start to market to those and you have only so much time and money you have to know those people that are going to support your mission or your your business and they're going to give you the longest value for your effort because you can be everywhere and then next thing you know you're not doing your return on investment isn't great I feel like Laura Duncan's have talking, to to me. <laughs> talking to me well I'm talking to myself don't look at me Laura <laughs> It's <laughs> embarrassing. Focus, this is our people, podcast. We be this <laughs> She's schooling us on our own oh, podcast. Wow. <laughs> well, it's, I'm gonna go write a list. <laughs> Kenny's holding his head. Right a mission. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're right. You're right. I mean, well, it's it's digital, right? It's crazy. Yeah. The latest yeah. thing is always <laughs> popping up, and we're going, "Oh, I need this," or "I need that." It's like. Focus. But and that's I an honestly, entrepreneur. You're, you're yeah, so yeah I know. And if you can teach just one tenth of that discipline to somebody like probably the two of us, like <laughs> holy moly, <laughs> it could be scary. We yeah, yeah, we'd be we'd be killing it, right? But but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah focus well, which is them. why you know yeah. honestly, which is why after all these years, and it was only this through the seminar, the development of these digital marketing seminars, so they came out with those seven steps because. You have to keep it simple and we have to stay focused and it has to be one of those vision boards. You put it up there and every time you do a campaign, every time you think of adding in a new channel or you think of even taking a, you know, starting to market a new product, um, it, you have to go through those and be really critical and go, okay, you know what? At the end of the day, this doesn't make sense for me. Or at least, you know, put down those measurable goals so that you'll know if it's good and it worked. And I said that to the, the group last night with the email marketing. And I did a little campaign. I said, here you go. Here's a mock-up campaign. This is how we're going to know if it works. And just write it down, one page. And so if we, you can get in the habit of doing that, I don't know, I'm hoping. I have a few that have come to all of them. So it's like, okay, by the end, I'm hoping they get it. So we'll see. That's amazing. Laura yeah, Dunkley. Okay. Wow. We <laughs> have been meeting Laura Dunkley on with us. Um, yeah, we have fun. Yeah. Do you, um, <laughs> okay. So we are, we're, we're coming, coming close to the end. Um, do you want to tell people where they can find you? If they want to be able to find Laura Dunkley and talk to or her. Or if you're going on tour, maybe at the West Coast. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. don't excuse me. I love the West Coast. <laughs> maybe oh my maybe goodness. you need to roll out to Vancouver I and start a program. It. I got a free, <laughs> a free spot for you. You can yeah. sit in the coffee bar all day yeah. if you want. Oh. Kenny, I would love it. I tell you, it's the only place I cried when I had to leave BC yeah. to come home. Yeah, I cried a couple uh, times. Yeah, there, you, so. You've got a spot on Kenny's coffee bar. Come on. That'd it's be like it's like mountain bike outdoor mecca out yeah. there. Oh yeah, God. It's my world. It's true. Yeah. It's true. So to find me, you know, and honestly, I my um handle online is at Laura L. Dunkley. Pretty okay. much all my minor and I focus on Twitter and LinkedIn. Okay. Please look for me. I love LinkedIn. It's definitely one of my things. Um and Twitter. And then uh, LauraDunkley.com okay. is my now blog. Um, it's my, my website. And then for the Mississauga Business Enterprise Center, um, the future is unlimited dot CA is okay. that's where you can find okay. all the stuff about us. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Amazing. Mm. Yeah. Pretty impressive, man. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Thanks, Laura. Thanks for being on the show thanks. with us. Well, thanks for having me. You know, it's, well, uh, that was awesome. it, it, it was fun and, uh, yeah, so much to talk about and we'll, uh, hopefully talk more. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go cry on yeah, the couch yeah. now. Basically, oh, loser, and not do anything. Uh, uh, that's well, amazing. We'll, we'll that's stay connected. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. All right. All uh, right. That's yeah. pretty cool. Well, thanks. Well, so thanks, much. Laura. Yeah. Well, my my wow. pleasure. This was great. I could, uh, you know, it's one of those subjects we could talk all night about. And this yeah. is where you know we have to just keep encouraging each other and, uh, and informing each other. Cause the more I know and the more I'm learning, the more I realize I don't have a clue 
there's so many more things yeah. that are out there. So many new things. That's right? it's exciting. Yeah. 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 Always yeah. coming. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank cool. you. Thanks for well, being thanks. on the show. And then okay. um, I will talk to you soon. Yes, please. Okay. All right. Thanks, thanks guys. Sarah. Okay. okay. Bye. 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 Hey. Pretty cool. Cool, right? Cool. Sorry, my my intro. No, that's okay. It's all good. Oh. Wow, yeah. that is quite the impressive. Uh, yeah, quite the impressive program. Like seriously. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, that's that's ridiculous, right? Yeah. Even to have him have like these, I just you start up and like you're just a freaking gong show. Yeah, trying to get organized, and she'd be the one that would kind of say, "Okay, do this, this," and so, yeah, wow, yeah. That, that's yeah. pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. Like, seriously, that that is pretty cool. That is that is pretty cool. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Pretty impressive. Yeah, um, you guys are lucky. That's that's a neat service. I don't know if we have that here. I we mean, are. Yeah. I mean, we might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I, I'm I'm I'd be surprised if you didn't, but uh, you know, maybe it's just called something different, or I, you know, what you didn't talk about a lot. You never know. You can you can pitch too, right? So at the end of like they have starter classes. So at the end of the starter class. Um, yeah. everyone gets a chance to put together their business plan and then pitch. And then if you, if you win your pitch, you get five grand in grants, um, you know, to start your business, which is not nothing, you know, it's pretty cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Like, seriously. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. That is awesome. I mean, that even cool. covers just, you know, registering your name and maybe yeah. even getting someone to help you do a web page or whatever. Yeah. Right. That's, that's huge. Yeah, yeah. That startup costs right there. Right. That's huge. Yeah. 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 Wow, pretty impressive, man. Like seriously, that that's that's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, switching gears, uh, our friend Linda Webb. I uh, I hooked her up with my um, Omega Oils lady from New Zealand. Oh, awesome! Uh, so that's I'm, a good fit. I'm super I'm super stoked. I'm I'm super stoked. And then um, Linda Webb put her in touch with that pet broker friend we were talking about. Oh, that's awesome! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, kind of excited, right? So I'm hoping, uh, you know, I'm hoping some of these things turn out for her. Um, we did, uh, you know what it's uh, like, buddy. It's a numbers game. Yeah. It's all networking, right? I saw Linda this week. Yeah. Um, with another really cool product line and yeah, yeah. I mean, it, that's how you do it, buddy. Linda Webb. That's fantastic. Well, Linda she's really Webb. good. She's, yeah, she's, she's, cool. she's on like four or five consecutive shows for us now. I know we got to stop that. Eh? She's getting, it's, it's just too much. No, no. no this no, is too you, much. The love is officially on, right? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I can say that again. Jeez. <laughs> Honestly, man, thank God.
All right, that's the end of this Commerce Life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe, like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more commerce news.